The biggest change to I-70 in Denver since 1964. It starts just five hours from now, the clock ticking towards a complete shutdown of the interstate on the north side of Denver. By Monday morning, the largest project in CDOT's history shifts to a whole new phase and a whole new position. If you're going to be in the Central 70 construction area this weekend, here are the detours that you'll need to know. Starting at 10 o'clock tonight, all lanes in both directions will be closed between Washington Street and I-270. So if you need to get around that closure, which is going to last all weekend, drivers are going to be detoured onto Interstates 25, 270, and 76. That closure lasting until early Monday morning. 9 News reporter Luis De Leon is live overlooking the new I-70 lanes, if you will, to break down exactly what is going on with all of this construction. Hi, Luis. Hi, Tom. Yeah, so pretty much what this closure allows for CDOT to do this weekend is to pretty much take the six lanes of traffic on I-70 between Brighton Boulevard and Colorado Boulevard from the existing viaduct you see there to all the way down here. So still six lanes in total, just a bit lower and a brief tunnel in this area as well. Now we did catch up with CDOT today to learn more about this project as well as caught up with some of the neighbors who live in the neighborhoods right next to this site to get their take on this. The saying goes, out with the old, in with the new. And that goes for testing out the fire system in a new tunnel. So it's something about 3,400 gallons of water if there were to be a car fire in the tunnel. A tunnel on a highway that'll be doing more than just putting out potential car fires. Since traffic will be down in those new lanes on Monday, we can start to demolish the existing viaduct structure. This will take about four to five months to completely demolish. Once that's done, we will then start to excavate for the future eastbound lanes. 1.3 million cubic feet of soil excavated so far already, all part of CDOT's project on I-70 known as the Mile High Shift. One of the goals with all of this is improving safety. We are going to have some shoulder space, but we are going to have additional pull out, so. But detours are top of mind for this weekend. So we're going to be closing down I-70, both east and westbound between Washington Street and I-270. So traffic will be detoured onto I-25, 270 and I-76 to get around that. And for those that have this site right next door. I've been in that house since I was eight years old, so things are really changing. Like Julie Madrill, it's not been without some concern. Just a lot of noise and a lot of dust. However, she says she recognizes the change needed. And for now, we're going to drive on that as soon as they open it Monday morning. Another neighbor, Lambert Mira, feels the same. It'll be nice when everything's done. Things are changing, and that's what it is. Change, many hope, is for the better. Now, as a reminder, 5 a.m. Monday is when the closure ends and you should be able to drive down here. And as mentioned in the story just now, the big project itself won't be completed by Monday. CDOT anticipates that the eastbound lanes should be built out in the next 14 months. So drivers should be able to drive on the final product, if you will, of I-70 by next year. But again, as a reminder, this will be a big weekend for uh, though to keep in mind those detour routes at the top of mind for drivers. Tom? Yeah, it's going to be an exciting uh, weekend and next week, hopefully not too exciting. All right. Thanks, Luis.